I'm Sean Patrick for Bronco Review, and joining me is Miami head coach Mike Haywood. Coach Haywood played his college ball at Notre Dame and has assistant coached with some of the nation's top programs, including his alma mater, Texas, and LSU. He's also no stranger to the MAC with stints at Ohio and Ball State. After four very successful seasons as offensive coordinator for the Fighting Irish, Coach Haywood is in his first year of his first head coaching position with the Miami Redhawks. His Redhawks will be making the trip to Waldo Stadium Saturday to face the Broncos in this year's first MAC conference matchup. Coach, thanks very much for making time for us today. Hey, thank you very much for having me on the show. First of all, congratulations on your first year as a head coach. Well, thank you. It's a pleasure to be here at Miami University. What's been the biggest challenge for you thus far in making that transition from offensive coordinator to head coach? Uh, I, I would say that the uh, biggest thing is dealing with the media on a regular basis and then also making sure that the academic structure uh, and the culture in which we're looking for has made the smooth transition. Was there any aspect to it, maybe when you were an assistant, that – uh, you know, it looks easy to you, it looks easy from the outside, but now that you're stepping into those shoes, you, it becomes a bit more difficult than you perhaps realize at first? Well, the one thing is that you have to have great time management, and it's not anything that anyone has ever coached you upon, but you have to make sure that you set your time and your schedule and you don't let people dictate to you, um, you know, how important certain issues are to change your schedule. So you just have to make sure you can manage your schedule. Yeah, I know when I was back in college that the time management was not exactly my strong suit. And so it sounds like uh, in doing that, you might also be a good role model for some of the players, not just uh, on the field, but in the classroom and, and in life beyond. Exactly right, because you know one of the things that you talk about is that you have to have time management doing your, doing your classes. When you leave your classes and you take your notes, the best thing for you to do is go over your notes when you go back to your dorm. Go get a bite to eat, go to your next class, go over your notes when you get through. You get to study table, there's an opportunity now to start studying in advance and making a schedule. And this is some of the things in which we preach to our student athletes on a regular basis. You know, some schools are considered quarterback you or running back you, but Miami is in many ways considered coaches you. Football fans around here are certainly familiar with names like Bo Schembechler and Jim Tressel. How is that a motivator for you to bring 110% every day? Oh, it's a great motivation because every time you walk down the hallway, you see the names up on the board, you see the faces of Bo, Earl Parsees, and Coach Bill Mallory, Coach Pot. You see all these guys on the board. So every, it's, an easy, it's an easy challenge every day that you go to work, and you're trying to live up to some of the tradition of the greats that have been here previously. Yeah, I was talking with someone earlier uh, that I was going to be having this conversation with you today, and they mentioned that uh, the facilities at Miami are the envy of a lot of other schools. Well, one of the things that we're trying to do right here is fundraise, and I spent a lot of time on this on the road this summer uh, fundraising so that we could start our North End Zone project, and that's one of the things that we're trying to get started. And those facilities must really come in handy when it comes to recruiting. Oh, it definitely does. But, you know, the facilities we have right now, we have a, a great academic center and a great weight room over in the growth center, and uh, we have one of the best uh, meal plans here and in the university because we have outstanding meals here at this institution. We're talking with head coach Mike Haywood of the Miami Red Hawks. Who are some of your players that have really exceeded expectations uh, in camp and so far in this young season? Well, there's a lot of young players that are coming in as freshmen that have exceeded expectations. You have Wes Williams out of Houston, Texas, JoJo Williams out of Houston, Texas, uh, Shoemaker out of Cincinnati who's going to get his first start this upcoming week. Uh, and, and, you know, that's just to name a few that are on defense, along with Evan Harris, uh, who's playing linebacker for us and doing a tremendous job. And, you know, those guys are doing a great job for us on defense. However, we get better, make sure that we uh, don't turn the football over and score when we're in the red zone. Western Michigan quarterback Tim Hiller is the owner of several program records. Only 10 passing TDs shy of the career mark for a Bronco. How do you compare Hiller with some of the quarterbacks you've had the opportunity to work with thus far in your career? I would say that uh, he's a really smart quarterback. He does a nice job of standing in the pocket. Um, the coaching staff does a tremendous job of getting the ball out of his hand quick because of the quick routes in which they run, the bubble screens, the tailback screens, the draws. And they provide a great opportunity for him to get in rhythm. And once he gets in rhythm there, he's hard to stop. Bronco coach Bill Cubitt singled out Red Hawk defensive lineman Martin Channels as being someone who could make things a little uncomfortable for Tim Hiller. What does he bring to the pass rush that some others don't? Well, one of 
one of the things about uh, Martin Chandler is that he's made a uh, tremendous change. He's had a great off-season workout. Uh, he's lost about probably about 15 pounds, and now he's able to play four quarters. And previously, he hasn't been able to play four quarters. But his push and his power that he has inside uh, is going to bring a lot to this upcoming game. It's early, of course, in your first season. How are things going so far in terms of like a longer term strategy, in terms of building the program after you know, say one, two, three, four seasons down the road? What sort of stepping stones, milestones do you see the program reaching this year? Well, one of the things that we're doing is that we're recruiting every day uh, because we believe that we have to get better players in here, uh, especially on the defensive ball, side of the ball. We got to get better corners in our program, and we're going out and recruiting as many corners as we can sign this upcoming year. Uh, also, we have to go out and recruit some speed receivers. Uh, we've been fortunate enough to get some commitments out of some uh, really fantastic offensive linemen. So we're going to have to be really uh, picky in the next areas in which we go out and recruit players. You've had the opportunity to work with uh, some legendary head coaches. Who are some of the ones who maybe most influenced your style? What did you take from them? Oh, I would probably say uh, Mac Brown, uh, unbelievable man, outstanding football coach. And the way he handles his staff and the way he handles his players is outstanding. Uh, Nick Saban, probably just in coaching style and the discipline and the hard-nosed, tough football that he requires from uh, from his players and how he combines all three facets of the game, offense, defense, and special teams together. And then from Charlie Weiss. Uh, Charlie's probably the best offensive mind in college football and, and probably in pro football. Uh, because of a lot of the uh, different formations, personnel groupings that he does. I think he does a tremendous job. And all those guys have been really influential in my career, along with Coach Fouts, uh, who taught me a lot when I was a young kid at 18 to 22 years of age and how important it is to make sure that you take care of your players on the field and off the field. And then uh, Lou Holtz, because he motivated you enough just to run through a wall. So, Motivation is one of the key things that you have to do as a coach. Mike Haywood is the head coach of the Miami Red Hawks. He's bringing his team to Waldo Stadium. Coach, we will see you Saturday. Look forward to it. You guys have a great week, and I look forward to seeing you when I get in town. For Bronco Review, I'm Sean Patrick.